Hello, Math Talino students! Sa video na ito, ang pag-aaralan natin ay tungkol sa Rectangular Coordinate System. Ano nga ba ang Rectangular Coordinate System? Rectangular coordinate system is also known as the Cartesian coordinate system, named after the mathematician René Descartes. It consists of two intersecting and perpendicular axes forming an XY plane. And each point on this plane can be represented by a unique ordered pair XY. So based on the descriptions on what rectangular coordinate system is, we now have this illustration. This is a rectangular coordinate system. It is composed of two intersecting lines. One is horizontal and one is vertical. The horizontal line o yung line na nakahiga ay ang ating x-axis. And the vertical line, o yung line na nakatayo, ay ang ating y-axis. Yung point kung saan nag-intersect o nag-meet ang ating x-axis at saka yung y-axis, ay tinatawag nating point of origin. And the coordinates for this point is 0, 0. Now, let's focus on the x-axis. On the right side is where we can find the positive real numbers and on the left is where we can find the negative real numbers. In the y-axis, the upper part is where we can find the positive real numbers and the lower part is where we can find the negative real numbers. Now, if we take a random point on this plane, say we name it as point P, it can be represented by a coordinates x, y. The first coordinate is what we call the x coordinate. And the other term for this one is the abscissa. While our second coordinate is called the y-coordinate, and the other term is the ordinate. Take note that every point on the Cartesian plane can be represented by an ordered pair x, y. x should always come first, then followed by y. Going back in our Cartesian plane, notice that our x-axis and y-axis Divide the plane into four regions. Mathematically, we call these regions as quadrants. Now, in naming the quadrants, we always start with the upper right quadrant. And we name it as quadrant 1. Then, in naming the other quadrants, we just turn counterclockwise or the opposite direction of the clock movement. So, next we have the upper left, quadrant 2, lower left, quadrant 3, and lower right, quadrant 4. If we will observe, quadrant 1 is located on the positive part of the x-axis and also on the positive part of the y-axis. So, we would expect that all the points here can be represented by ordered pair xy wherein x is positive and y is positive. On the second quadrant, it is located on the negative side of x-axis and positive part of the y-axis. So, we expect that all the points here have coordinates with signs negative x and positive y. For our third quadrant, 
Of course, we have negative x and negative y. And in the fourth quadrant, we have positive x and negative y. Alright, let's try to apply the concepts that we have learned in rectangular coordinate system. Name the coordinates of each point. So let's start with point A. Notice that point A is directly above x equals negative 3 and it is aligned at y equals positive 4. Therefore, the coordinates of point A is negative 3, 4. For point B, it is located at x equals negative 2 and it is aligned at y equals 0. Since the point did not shift up or down with respect to the x-axis. So the coordinates of point B is negative 2, 0. For point C, it is directly above x equals positive 1 and it is aligned at y equals positive 3. Therefore, the coordinates of point C is 1, 3. For point D, notice that it is directly below x equals negative 7 and it is aligned at y equals negative 4. Therefore, its coordinates would be negative 7, negative 4. For point E, observe that it is directly below x equals 0 and it is lying on the point y equals negative 4. Therefore, the coordinates of point E is 0, negative 4. And for our point F, it is directly below x equals positive 5 and it is aligned on y equals negative 1. Therefore, its coordinates would be 5, negative 1. Now, let's try that we are the ones who will plot the points. So, plot each point on the Cartesian plane and tell which quadrant or axis it lies. Just a tip on plotting points on the Cartesian plane, always remember that the x coordinate would always represent the horizontal movement. It's either you move left or right. You move to the right if x is positive, and you move to the left when x is negative. Also, the y coordinate would represent the vertical movement. That is, you move either up or down. You move upward if y is positive, and you move downward when y is negative. So, let's try with point A. Our x-coordinate is positive 2, so we move 2 units from the origin to the right. 1, 2. And our y is negative 4. So, we continue moving 4 units downward since y is negative. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore, point A is located on this point. Alright, let's proceed with our next example. For point B, x coordinate is negative 7, so we move 7 units to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we continue moving. Since y is negative 1, we move 1 unit downward. So we have 1. And our point B is located here. For our point C, x is 0, so we do not move left or right. We just stay at the point of origin. 
Then, from the point of origin, we move 5 units downward because y is negative. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Point C is here. Let's move on. Point D, x coordinate is negative 3. So, we move 3 units to the left. 1, 2, 3. And we continue moving using the y coordinate, which is positive 3. So, we move 3 units upward. So, 1, 2, 3. And our point D should be here. For the fifth one, point E has x coordinate, which is positive 6. So, we move 6 units to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we do not move up or down because our y is equal to 0. So, point E is just here. And finally, for our point F, its x coordinate is positive 2. So, we move 2 units to the right. 1, 2. And since our y is positive 6, we continue moving 6 units upward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Therefore, point F is located here. And there you have it. We have already plotted our points. This time, we identify which quadrant or axis it lies. So for point A, it is located in quadrant 4. For point B, it is located in quadrant 3. For point C, our point is located on the negative part of Y axis. For point D, it is located on the quadrant 2. For point E, it is on the positive x-axis. And for point F, it is located on the quadrant 1. At hanggang dyan na lang po ang ating math talino tutorial. Sana ay may natutunan kayo ngayon. Salamat po sa pakikinig.